Hey, welcome back. We have another integral on the board here today. This one's from MIT Integration B 2011. This was problem 25. We have the integral of the square root of one minus x over one plus x dx. Okay, with a problem like this, there's a very standard way to approach it. We just multiply by the conjugate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply square root of one minus x times square root of one minus x, top and bottom. When we multiply this out in the denominator, we're gonna have one minus x squared. In the numerator, we're gonna have square root of one minus x all squared. But what we can do is we can rewrite that as the absolute value of one minus x. But what I'm gonna do, we generally don't like dealing with this absolute value and we can get rid of this. And the reason why, if we just go back and look at the original integral, you'll see there's quite a few restrictions on here, right? Like you can't have minus one because you'll be dividing by zero. This actually has to be between, x has to be between minus one and one or else you're gonna have the square root of a negative number. So we want this to be real. And so that's gonna allow us to just remove the absolute value here because this value can never be, this one minus x value can never be negative. Then from here, all we're gonna do is just gonna break this into two integrals. So the first one, we'll just have our one dx over square root of one minus x squared. And then for the second one, we're gonna have our x dx over square root of one minus x squared. Now this first one's easy because this is actually arc sine, so we'll focus on this other integral. And what I can do here is we'll do a u substitution. So I'm gonna call my u this whole thing in the radical. So we'll say u is one minus x squared. Then taking our derivative, du is gonna be minus two x dx. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set that up so we have that exactly in our numerator here. So I'll bring the minus sign in here. I'll multiply by a two and multiply by a half. So I'm not changing it, but I'm setting up my numerator to be exactly our du. So then, like I said here, this is just, this integral is just arc sine or inverse sine. So we'll just write part of our answer there. Then making the substitution here, we're gonna have one half du in the numerator square root of u. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wanna use the power rule. So I'm just gonna rewrite this. Let's just write this as u to the minus one half du and then now we're gonna just take our integral, so we're gonna have our plus half. Integral of this with the power rule is gonna be u one half times two. This is gonna cancel here. We're just gonna back substitute with our u right here. And then so our final solution is just gonna be arc sine of x plus the square root of this thing, which is one minus x squared plus c. That's it, we'll stop it there. Thanks for watching everyone, have a great day.